again, friends and Dino Nuggets, and welcome back to my Terraria playthrough, episode number six. Oh, we got a traveling merchant just in time. So today's episode, we are going to be exploring the surface world. I think we're at the point now where we can. We got the platinum armor fully decked out. We got the blade of grass, and we got the bat bat. So we have quite a few options for weapons. Um, if this sounds like a good episode to you, feel free to like this video and subscribe for more Terraria content coming at you in the future. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Oh, look at that. Cloud is a tree. So what do we have here? A yellow counterweight. Bedazzled nectar. Dynasty wood. Devil horns. Not too much going on there we have a lot more gold we made it past um, a few of those obstacles from last episode we've got up to 10 gold coins which is not too bad um, but our main focus is just going to be traveling across the surface I'd like to see everything that this world has um, maybe we might even be able to find an enchanted sword if we're lucky fingers crossed for that but we should be able to make our way into um, across the surface jungle now. Now that we've made our way in the underground jungle, I feel like the surface jungle shouldn't be any issue at all. Go ahead and take our buffs. And let's head towards the jungle. We are a whole different person. A whole different dinosaur than we were the last time. We're actually going to dig these up. What is this? Oh, a frog. I don't want to kill it. Oh no. Poor frog. We are in a much better position than we were the last time. I have to say. That was a great call, whoever um, recommended me getting the blade of grass. I believe it Indominus was one of them. I believe that Tuba also one of them. Great suggestions from you guys. So we are now officially farther than we've ever gotten. Oh, maybe not. We do have this chest. We must have gotten it before. Yes. So we've gotten that one before. So we're not the farthest we've ever been, but Pretty close. We're going to continue this way. We're really hoping for... I would really like to find a lot more of the accessories that we're missing. Including a uh, cloud in a bottle would be amazing. Something with double jumps. If we could find some gravitation potions, that would be lovely as well, because then we could get some um, trips up to some sky islands, and those items up there would come in handy too. A pair of fledgling wings would be amazing, of course. So, usually a pretty good chance of there being chests in these areas over here. Got to see if we can get up there without having to build anything. Crowd control a lot easier with the blade of grass. <laughs> I will say I'm enjoying not having to worry too much about things getting too close. Uh, I think mainly the knockback on this is much nicer for us. Let's see if there's a chest in here. Nope, but a shine potion. Which can come in handy in the future there's actually a little bit of a cave here that I'm gonna go in and check out as well we want to make sure we check every chest we can check on the surface so let's check down here do not see any chests unfortunately oh man I was really hoping that we would find one. Oh, I bet you there would be one underneath us here. It's so nice 
Also, speaking, it's so nice to have more health. We have made it to 140 life at this point. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's only going to keep going up, hopefully. Oh, I see. I see a... Finally see a chest there. Oh, it's so nice to be able to kill guys from around corners and whatnot. Recall potions, iron skin potions. Very nice, I'll take it. Thought I saw a slime go in there. <laughs> Night Owl Potion. I don't know if we should venture too far down here. That's what I was worried about. Let's drop a heal. I was worried about falling into, into danger, which we did, but thankfully, our new sword saved us from getting in too much trouble. We're not going to go into the underground jungle again. I saw enough of that in the last episode. We are just going to try to find our way up. It would be nice if we could. Okay, there we go. Almost fell. <laughs> Trying to get better about traversing the land. Something that I've not been very good at. Do we have anything? I think I accidentally got rid of my glow sticks. It's becoming nighttime. Not too worried about nighttime anymore, unless, of course, the dreaded blood moon happens. We're gonna hope that does not happen. Traveling merchant has now departed. Thank you for nothing. I keep saying we're not going down here and then I kind of like travel a little bit and I start wanting to go <laughs> further down. I get kind of carried away. So we're making our way to the right of the world, slowly but surely. We're finally out of the jungle, it looks like, after what felt like a very, very long time. Oh wow, gold? That was a great get. <laughs> we got a little wood stump there. Oh, and... Looks like we're going to be coming up on a desert. Yes, we are. What kind of desert do we got here? Doesn't look like we have a corrupted one like the other side. Kind of a bummer of a desert. Nothing real, nothing special, nothing noteworthy. Let's check out. Oh, I knew there would be something here. Wand of Sparking. Okay, you know, I'm not going to scoff at any items we find. It's better than nothing. At the same time, at this point, oh, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, amazing. I've never seen one so close to the surface before. Go ahead and clean this place up. Let's grab these. A woman statue. Skeleton statue. We got... Warding shoe spikes. What do we have here? Just normal shoe spikes. So that's actually pretty nice. Extra defense there. Danger sense potion. Very nice. We also have a, a loom down here. We'll take that. We don't have to use any, any of our wood. That'd be great. Kind of push these guys back just a little bit. There we go. Now we finally hit our 50th zombie. And we killed one without it killing us first, which is already leaps and bounds better than we were beforehand. This is an interesting little area here. I 
the zombie down here. Doesn't look like there's really anything special down here, so we're going to move along. So last episode, during our underground jungle exploration, um, I will not lie to you guys, off camera when I was doing all of my stuff, I died so many times, uh, <laughs> which did not get added to the death counter. Um, and so the next time I get a death, whenever that may be, I'm going to... I'm trying to figure out how many deaths I actually have. I don't know if there's a way to check that on my character. To check how many deaths I have. Um, as a character total. But I'll try to see if I can find that number and start from start from there. Because I don't want to be inaccurate with my deaths. Oh, uh, here we go. Why is my pickaxe out? Let's heal. Even this area is a little bit easier for us than before. But I'll try to find out the stats for my character, however we figure that out. And I will try to be accurate with my deaths. And I'll remember to check those more often to make sure the numbers are correct. I do want it to be a realistic representation of playing master mode especially for the first time because I don't fault myself for dying a lot it's hard anybody who doesn't think that this master mode is hard has probably either been doing it a lot or just really really good at video games which I am not so and I don't claim to be <laughs> I enjoy playing games with you guys but I'm not a pro at them by any measure. This sword is a life changer. I will say that right away. I feel as though this has made a huge difference in these kind of enemies. I'm still not sure and I'm, well I am sure that we're not in any shape to fight our bosses yet. But I'm much better off than I was beforehand. Let's see, where's the worm? There he is. I'm waiting for him to come across. Let's continue on. Oh, we're running out of space. That's not good. Let's get out of my way, sir. Thank you. Hopefully there were no items back there that I can't live without. I'm also trying to keep an eye on our health. It's getting pretty low just from just from walking around. Oh, we got a living wood tree. This is awesome. I don't think I've seen one of these yet. Maybe I have. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the wand of sparking. I don't quite need that. I don't think we've seen a wand or not a wand of sparking. We have seen one of those in this playthrough, but I don't think I've seen a living wood tree until now, so Always excited to find Some of the more fun items uh, so we got a regeneration potion. We definitely want that. The living wood wand and the leaf wand, we will actually leave those here. We'll need to get those later for sure. It appears as though we've got a corrupt living wood tree. Because <laughs> corrupt torches are falling here, which is kind of interesting. So we got another chest here, another radar. She got quite a few of those. We are definitely going to need to go back and clear out our inventory. Let's drop all these tombstones here. Throwing knives, a hard radar. What is this one? Just a normal radar. Very nice. More defense. 
Always a plus. Let's get this guy. Try to get these stars as well. Oh, look where we are. We have found ourselves the ocean. We made it to the right. The right of the world. Is this? Now it's a shell pile. I thought that was platinum. All right, so we made it to the right of the world. Nothing noteworthy. If I miss something, you guys will have to help me with that. I didn't see anything myself, but you guys have good eyes for me, so. Oh, the angler is here. Which means that we can now get some items from fishing, which we will be focusing on at some point. Let's go ahead and head home. Um, we're gonna take all of these potions. We're going to make sure that we um, save those, make sure they don't run away from us. Let's grab this star before it despawns. We're gonna quick stack. Lots of stuff that we found, we already have found before. Not a problem. And let's put some stuff away. I'm thinking we need another chest. We can just start putting stuff away. And we'll really come by and fix that up later. And yeah, that's, I think that's good for now. Let's see where those glow sticks went. There they are. We are going to go to the left now. So we made it past the corruption on that side, which is a great feeling. We're going to gather as many pumpkins as we can because, as we know, buffs are important. We also want to be able to fight the pumpkin moon at some point, and so I'll need some extra pumpkins. Oh, it's a set of eyes, not just one. That's kind of funny. So I thought it'd be daytime by now, by the time we started traveling this way. <laughs> Does that appear to be... And now these guys are going to fly away. Maybe the poison will kill one. Something got killed. I don't think it was the demon eye. Hopefully, did... Yeah. I was going to say, hopefully my wonderful coins got uh, put away when I quick stacked. And they did. I need to put that piggy bank into my house. I don't know why I have it by the merchant. Getting him. So this is gonna be a little bit on the easy side. Kinda traversing this again. We've made it pretty far on this right side, but not all the way to the ocean, which is what we're aiming for this time. We have the desert, then we have corruption. And hopefully we're going to be able to find ourselves um, something special. I'm hoping to get something other than just clearing the map in this episode, but that's our main focus is just Exploring the surface, making sure we're able to, like, traverse the surface in the first place. Because at this point, I feel pretty good about our capabilities on the surface. Also, I do realize that the dungeon is on this side. I do remember that our jungle's on our right side, so our... So our dungeon will be on this side. We're not going to fight Skeletron, so I'm not worried about <laughs> the dungeon at the moment in terms of being ready for it or not, because we're not going in. Or if we go in, we're just going to peek in. We're not going to do anything too crazy. Very nice. I like the poison effect. It definitely... 
That scared me. <laughs> the poison effect is definitely a good way to get a little bit of extra damage there. Oh, I got launched a little bit. This whole desert is really corrupted. It's kind of surprising. And it's just a lot of desert on this side, it seems like. A really big desert, a really big corrupted desert. Let's get a heal off. I'm trying to get better about healing kind of uh, preemptively. Last season, I was not good about that. I do know the dangers of coming out to the ends of the world. Um, is that the King Slime can spawn over here. Oh, this staircase to the dungeon is really cool, actually. So we're going to kind of open this up. Let's go ahead and grab this water candle. And we're going to grab all these books, too, because why not? We might as well. Really cool little um, lantern up there. Oh. oh, come on, I can do this. There we go. <laughs> Obviously rained up here. <laughs> a little bit of a puddle. Oh, so we got another living wood tree. I knew that would show up. Look at how this one spawned. Its roots are kind of all over the place. I don't think I've ever seen that before. The Goblin Scout. I see you over there. I think I'm going to pretend I do not see you. I don't know if the goblin invasion is something we're ready for. I kind of want to try it. I think with this sword we'd be better off than we were last time when we started the zombie invasion. But that's going to take some consideration. Maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll kill him and hope for the best. <laughs> More stuff. Always love stuff. Let's see if this takes us anywhere. I see a gnome down there. Gnomes are terrifying. It's a really long living wood tree um, tunnel. A step stool. We'll take it. And we got an umbrella. We'll take that as well. Do we have any cabins right away? That's all I'm looking for. I don't see any. Let's go back up. Let's get to the end of the world before we go too far investing in the, in the um, cave diving. So we are definitely going to take our chances and kill this, or kill the zombie scout if we get, or a zombie scout, no, a goblin scout if we get him again. If we see him over here, we will attack him. More and more stuff. More and more stuff of which I will take, of course. I do not see the Goblin Scout anymore. He must have um, backed off. He knew I wasn't ready. He knew he wasn't ready. So I can respect that. <laughs> Any water chests? It does not appear to be one close enough for my comfort. We don't have any way of really getting up fast. So I would rather not risk it. I don't want to drown for a water chest. 
Okay, well, that's the left of the world. We made it to the left, so we made it to the right. We're going to go back home, and what we're going to do is um, build a few more houses. We'll build a few more houses, and then we'll call that a day. So let's go ahead and recall home. And then... Let's grab some more. We'll make it out of stone this time, I'm thinking. We'll make the houses out of stone because we probably have way more of that than we have wood. So we'll take this stone and we will make sure that we do stone bricks. So let's make quite a bit of this. We'll make like... 500 we'll make all of it We'll make some of these in the walls. We'll probably need like 500 of these as well. Let's start with that Got a lot of pumpkins from our trips to the left and right. I think I'm I'm all for that um, Let's go ahead and start the first one here um, And I will like speed through this process for you guys So we built a few more houses. Um, let's see, we've got the anglers gonna move over here. The nurse just moved in while we were building. I'm not sure if you guys saw the notification. Then we have two more houses in case anybody wants to move in there. We'll see um, in the future if anybody moves there. Um, as of now, though, I think that's gonna be it for our episode. Oh, a zoologist has arrived. In fact, Let's actually go and see the zoologist because I saw that the zoologist has a lizard tail, which might be amazing for our uh, character because we have a tail. And so now, <laughs> if you guys look, let's see, I remember setting the, here we go. So now we have a tail. To look more like Bubasaurus. We have a tail now. I think we have... So I don't have... I do have blueberries. And then we have the dye trader. Do I have enough gold to buy the dye vat? Yes, we do. Oh, goodness, guys. I guess I know what next episode's going to be. Um, let's hurry up and make this real quick. Okay, so we will see you in the next episode where we will probably be taking on the Blood Moon. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like this video and subscribe for more Terraria content. I've been your host, Bubasaurus, and remember to always be on your Bubasaurus best. <laughs>